Oh boy, Destiny 2 is in serious trouble this weekend. And as many of you guys have seen, there's a glitch in the game at the moment that allows crafted weapons to share traits from other weapons, which they're not intended to have. So we've got players running around with exotic bonuses on legendary weapons. And an example of this is the Osteo Striga bonus applied to the Ikelos SMG. This is a clip from Destiny Bulletin right here. I'm not at home, so I can't replicate it myself right at this point in time. But in the crafting menu, you essentially hover over an exotic and then immediately select the craft option for a legendary weapon. And it may take a few tries, but it's possible to get the exotic intrinsic bonus to show up on the legendary weapon. You can also do this with two legendaries. So you can give a legendary precision frame the properties of an aggressive frame and then go ahead and craft the weapon. And this is causing some insane bugs in the game. There are some clips here from Destiny Bulletin showing two weapon frames together, creating an aggressive frame Amit auto rifle, a rapid fire Apex Predator, or even Hollow Denial with the Trinary Vision Dead Messenger bonus, which is absolutely busted. And yes, you can one shot players, blow players up in PvP, delete raid bosses. You've got players absolutely destroying Trials of Osiris or soloing dungeons and practically one-shotting the boss. And so this is without a doubt one of the most broken, game-breaking bugs that Destiny 2 has ever seen. And it would appear that Bungie are struggling to decide exactly what to do about this. So Bungie Help said, we're aware of the issue that allows specific weapon perks to be crafted into other legendary weapons and are investigating a fix. This will result in these weapons being reset in the future. They also said we currently don't have plans to disable Trials of Osiris due to this issue and went on to say per our ban policy, players who discover an exploit will not receive any in-game restriction or ban. However, the use of external scripting and network manipulation tools are still bannable offenses and subject to security review. And the Destiny 2 team said we're exploring all potential solutions and keeping an eye out in case things get too wild and we need to take drastic measures to ensure the health of the game. In the meantime, let us have some fun and Igneous Hammer will come back to trials as soon as possible. Now, this has been going on for quite a few hours, nearly a full day. And at this point, a lot of players are taking advantage of this. You pretty much can't play Trials without taking advantage of it this weekend. But the fact that Bungie say, in case things get too wild, sort of indicates that they don't know exactly what the best approach is here. We've seen them take the game offline or disable pieces of gear for considerably less game-breaking bugs than this. And of course, at this point, disabling crafting, for example, wouldn't really fix the issue because tons of players already have these broken weapons. Disabling all of the affected weapons, so essentially all of the craftable weapons in the game, also seems like it's a pretty difficult option. And so while Bungie are allowing this to continue at the moment, it seems very likely that we're probably going to get some kind of game rollback, where Bungie will take the state of the game back a few days even, and that in itself would wind the community up, because players will lose progress if that happens. And even if they were to kind of roll the game back, they would then probably have to disable crafting or craftable weapons entirely in order to stop this issue from continuing. So without a doubt, once again, the biggest game-breaking bug that we've seen, even to the point that in that initial term, it's pretty obvious that Punji didn't know what approach to take. But it also creates an interesting kind of interaction in the community between different types of players. You've got those players who are exploiting this and say, well, hey, Bungie say we can do it, so it's not an issue. And on the other hand, you have players that say, hey, this is essentially legal cheating in Destiny right now, and it's spoiling the experience. Crusader on Twitter said, the integrity of all of your titles and in-game achievements are all at risk. Soloing raid bosses, every Trials game is a three-stack Amit. Destiny Fun Police essentially referred to it as legal cheats in PvP. And sort of as I indicated there, respectfully, Rumi said, what do you mean too wild? This has absolutely destroyed the game. Is disabling crafted weapons not an option in the meantime? And so yeah, you've got this real mixture of response from the community. And realistically, probably where players stand to benefit from this glitch, where it makes certain pieces of content easier. Those players are probably all for this happening, while other players who want the protection of their achievements, soloing raid bosses for instance, or those who are competitive PvP players who consider themselves to be legit, in inverted commas, they have a very different feeling about this than what other players do, so it's kind of wild. I would however say that given Bungie's stance on it so far, it isn't really worth blaming other players for this happening. This is a Bungie problem, and they've allowed it to continue happening at least up until this point in time. But I would once again prepare yourselves guys for a rollback right here. Obviously I'm not an expert on Bungie updates and what they can actually do about this, but 
It seems like it's a complicated problem for Bungie, both in terms of stopping it from happening moving forward, but also undoing the damage and the fact that players have these crafted weapons in their inventories now. It's an absolutely wild and pretty unprecedented situation that we find ourselves in, and it makes Laser Tag Weekend from Trials of Osiris back in year one look like a tea party at a kindergarten or something, doesn't it? Let's be real, this is absolutely insane. And I have to say, I'm pretty surprised by Bungie's lack of action on this so far. That's not because of any personal opinion I hold about these weapons being able to do it, but it's more based on what Bungie typically would do in this kind of situation. And again, I think it demonstrates that Bungie aren't entirely clear on what they should be doing. So there's a quick update with Bungie's response so far. If you guys want to watch videos on how this is done, it is a bit finicky, but in the end is a fairly easy to replicate bug. So I'll link a video about it down below. Credit to Destiny Bulletin for a bunch of the updates and clips in this one. Once again, I haven't been able to get into the game and replicate this myself. It isn't something I would personally take into PvP and things like that. Although that isn't really a judgment on other players because once again Bungie are allowing it to take place. But when we do get an update from Bungie, which yes is probably going to be a significant one in terms of the impact on the game and how they have to handle this, I will be sure to link that in the pinned comment down below. So give us your thoughts and experiences with this crazy bug so far. If you found this quick update interesting, a rating below really does help us out. And feel free to get subscribed as well if you want to be kept up to date with more Destiny content. But otherwise, I appreciate you tuning in, and I hope you guys have an awesome day.